bully I can beat up. All right. Well, if there's a bully you can beat up, he's not really a bully. He's just an asshole, right? Hey, Billy boy, I'm a 15-year-old lad from Australia, and here's my problem. There is a complete dickhead at my school that always picks on me. But here's, here's a twist. I could smash the shit out of this prick. I'm 182 centimeters. That's six feet tall. F 15 years old, six feet tall. He goes 74 kilograms. That's 160 pounds for you people keeping score. And every other day, or, oh, and he's about 5'8". And weighs about 185 pounds. All right, so he's got he's got you by he's got you by 25 pounds. But you have the reach advantage. This is the tail of the tape here. I love this. You got a four inch reach advantage, unless he has those fucking Kevin McHale arms that are almost dragging on the ground. All right, you go. I lift weights every other day, and he's just fat. All right, you're definitely the favorite so far. He goes, but this isn't the biggest reason why I could smash this cunt. I have about 20 years of martial arts experience. Wait a minute. You're 15 years old. How do you have 20 years of experience? Oh, he's going to break it down. I have about 20 years of martial arts experience when you add it all up. I have seven years in karate, five years in Muay Thai. Oh, Jesus, dude. You bring those fucking knees to that fat belly. Oh, my God. Probably got shins like a fucking street pole. Um, a street pole? Stop sign. Whatever the fuck I was trying to say. <laughs> Just I pictured a telephone pole and a stop sign made out of metal, and I came up with street pole. Look at that. I'm inventing words here. Seven years of karate, five years of Muay Thai, five years of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Jesus Christ, standing up, go to the ground. What do you want to do? And three years of MMA. He constantly calls me name like gay boy and poof, and he slaps me in the back of the head every day. Dude, you can't have that. Uh, this has been happening for like two months now, and I haven't fought back because I'm worried about getting in trouble from teachers at my martial arts classes. Any advice is welcome. Uh, thanks for whatever, whatever, helps you, uh, whatever help you can give me. Uh, go fuck yourself and have a good day. All right, sir. Well, this is the deal. You could ser If you actually applied what you know, you could seriously hurt this guy. But you do have to defend yourself. So is there a way that the next time he goes to slap you in the head, you can put him in one of those fucking those holds where you're just holding the person's thumb and they're all of a sudden on their tiptoes going, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Is there a way to just shoot one across the bow? That's what I'm suggesting. I'm not saying that you fuck this kid up and then ruin your standing with uh, your uh, your sifus, your senseis, your 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 pastors, whatever the fuck you call them, down at the dojo. Um, yeah, but you, you, there's no reason for you to go to school and get slapped in the back of the head and being called names. Okay, so what I would do is, uh, oh, well, well, why the fuck are you asking me? This is what you do. Jesus Christ, here's your solution. Talk to one of your, your karate masters there and just say, listen, this is the deal. I know after everything that you've taught me that I could just w mop the floor with this fat tub of shit, but I don't want to get, in, you know, bad standing with you. What, what do I do here? Have them. Have them tell you what to do. Because they could probably suggest they know the name of whatever that fucking... <laughs> How to choke out somebody's thumb, whatever that thing is that you guys do that I wish I knew how to do. Um, but here's the deal. One way or another, uh, there has to be a solution with this guy slapping you. They're slapping you in the back of the fucking head. Um, do, you, do you know how to do a death grip yet? Have they taught you that? Is that an actual thing? Why don't you do a double death grip to his man tits and twist them before he has a chance to slap you in the head? <laughs> Don't listen to anything that I'm going to suggest here. Uh, why don't you take some Twinkies? What, what could you do with the Twinkie and a martial art thing? Why don't you make some nunchuck Twinkies? And it says, so instead of slapping him in the face with the, with a piece of wood, it's a it's a Twinkie. And it goes across his face. He's humiliated. Plus, you know he's a fatty, so he's going to have to lick it off his face. And he'll get into that sugar rush. And his eyes will roll in the back of his head. And by the time his eyes come back down, you're going to be across the room and he can't slap you in the head. I know there's got to be something. There's got to be something to do. Uh, 
I mean, at this point, if you don't want to go physical, I would just go verbal. I, I, you know, he's calling you gay boy and poof. I mean, why don't you just talk about his fat tits? Just at, just be, ask, just be really sincere. Just be like, just out of curiosity, how much do your tits weigh? You know, do you wear a sports bra or are you going to kind of go with the, uh, the giant pocket tee? And the fact that you're already this fat at our young age, like how fat do you think you're going to be when you're 40? These are just questions, sir. You know, and then when he charges you like a rhino, just step out of the way and he won't be able to slow down and he'll maybe go flying into some desks. I don't know, sir. But can you please tell me how this I, I, w- I would go? I would go to your uh, your dojo masters there, whatever. And I, I'd ask them what to do. But there's no fucking way on any level that you should have to tolerate that. Um, you know, I would do that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Are they going to go even really more mature? Well, I think you should talk to your teachers about it. And then you become the fucking guy who ratted it out. You know, it's like that selection. That's like the uh, solutions they come up to on like the view. You just turn around and you just say, stop doing that. I, 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 I'm not going to tolerate this, you know, give me like a rape whistle or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know, sir, but please let me know how that works out because it's bothering me that that dude is doing that to you. All right. I don't like bullies. Um, Ah, Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, You know what I really want to tell you to do, and I'm not going to.